Come on into the library. It's a place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Milton Wordsworth. Working through the night till the rising sun Story makers, story makers Stories are fabulous, stories are fun Come and be a story maker Story makers Hello. Has everybody gone? The sun is down, the stars are bright. Story makers come out at night. Milton Wordsworth, story maker and magical maestro, at your service. Story makers? <laughs> you have to come and find us first. Yes, we'll tell you if you're getting hotter or colder, Milton. Aha, the hotter, colder game. Hot if I'm close and cold if I'm not, eh? Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 you're freezing, Milton. Freezing cold. Freezing cold. Oh, oh, oh. Put your coat Getting on. warmer. Oh, getting warmer. Oh, 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 warmer. Aha. Warmer, warmer. Oh, oh, oh. Aha. <laughs> <laughs> you found how clever of you, my story-making friends. <laughs> oh, do you know, Milton, today the children were having stories about animals that yeah. live in hot places and animals that live in cold places. Mm -hmm. Ah, interesting. I liked the penguins and the polar bears. Yes, uh, and I liked the tigers and the lions. Mm. You know, Jelly, some people would say that the lion was the king of all animals. But not everyone <laughs> would agree. Oh, why not? Time to make a story to tell you why. Oh. Now this is where we need your help. This machine takes a lot of imagination to get it going. Are you ready? Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. Well done. It's a tale from far away, an old Burmese story, King of the Forest. One morning, Fox was searching for something to eat in the forest. Suddenly, a large tiger jumped on top of him. Caught you, said the tiger. The tiger held the fox with a single paw, opened his big jaws and got ready to have his dinner. The fox could not get free. Then suddenly, he had an idea. How dare you treat the king of the forest this way? The what? The king of the forest. I'm the king of the forest. What rubbish. What nonsense. No one ever told me you were the king. You must be the only animal in the forest who doesn't know then. All the other animals know that I'm the king. They all run away from me when I approach. That is incredible. <laughs> Unbelievable. Let me prove it to you then. Do so. You will have to let me go first. The tiger removed his paw from the fox. Now follow me. The fox, followed by the tiger, trotted off to the forest. The chicken saw the tiger coming and ran away. The rhinoceros saw the tiger coming and ran away. The 
elephant saw the tiger coming and ran away. Wow! The tiger was amazed. He thought that the animals had run away from the fox. Now do you believe me? All the animals of the forest know that I am the king. That's why they run away from me when I approach. The foolish tiger believed the fox. Forgive me, great king of the forest, for not recognizing you. The clever fox walked away proudly, just like a king. <laughs> What a rascal that fox fellow was, eh? Milton, you said that was a Burmese story. Where is Burmese? Ah, well, my boy, a Burmese story is a story from a country called Burma. One of the children said that penguins live far away from us. So, do they live in Burma? Uh, penguins live in cold countries, and Burma is hot. Oh, well, where do penguins live then? In Antarctica. Ah, well, where's Antarctica? Ah, Antarctica is at the bottom of the world, right down here. Oh, I see right down there. Oh, I'll never see them then. Oh, yes, you will if you use one of these. <gasps> A ticket to the zoo. Exactly, my dear Jackson. <gasps> Let's put it in the story machine and find those penguins. Excellent idea. Now all we need is a bit of imagination, and you can help too. Yeah. Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. Oh, it's a playbook, and it's called Orson and Esme Go to the Zoo. At the zoo, with Orson and Esme. Mum and Gran, Holden and Bunny Moon came along too. What did they do when they went to the zoo? Rode on the rides. Came face to face with the elephants. And fed them too. What did they do when they went to the zoo? Washed their hands after touching the animals. Watched the animals wash themselves too. Ate some chips to fill empty tummies. Chips for warmth on a chilly afternoon. Chips for everyone, even Bunny Moon. What did the penguins want? What was their wish? Did they want chips? No, they wanted fish. Animals and birds. What next did they see? A huge tarantula spider, as big as a hand. A massive snail, the biggest on land. And tiny ants taking leaves home for tea. Orson, Esme, Holden, and Bunny Moon had a wonderful time when they went to the zoo. There were so many things to see and do. If you ever went to visit a zoo, what do you think you'd see and do? Oh, I love all these animal masks the children have made.、Ooh. It looks like a zoo in here.、Oh, I, I think it's about time we made another story. Oh, okay.、Uh, we could use a tiger mask to put in the machine to make a story.、Mm. Go on, Jackson. Po pop it in the machine. Okay. <laughs> Do you remember the magic words? Join in. Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. It's a blue cow story. 
blue cow in the jungle. In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue cow wonders, wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, Blue Cow was looking at the other cows, who were all the same. I wonder if there are places where lots of different animals live. She's off again. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a ticket to a place full of lots of different animals, please. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for the jungle. And then they arrived. When Blue Cow got off the bus, she could hardly believe her eyes. Around her were thick trees covered with creepers and brightly coloured flowers. But where were all the animals? Where are all the animals? said Blue Cow out loud. Here, said a voice. Here, said another. Here, said a third. Blue Cow looked very hard and then saw something move. What she thought was a creeper was really a snake. What she thought was a flower was really a beautiful butterfly. And what she thought was another flower was really a hummingbird. Moo! Yeah. Well, if you hadn't moved, I would never have known you were there. We're all camouflaged, said the snake. That's why you couldn't see us. Blue Cow looked even more closely around her. Suddenly, she saw a zebra. Then a monkey appeared in a tree nearby. <laughs> The jungle really was full of animals. And then, all of a sudden, in a rush, the animals raced off to hide. Oh, that's funny, said Blue Cow to herself. Why should all the animals be scared of me? They were not scared of you, said a voice. They were scared of me. Blue Cow looked round. Nothing was there until the voice moved. It was a tiger. Ooh, said Blue Cow. What fantastic camouflage. I thought you were a patch of tall grass. Ah, you are most kind. And why were the animals scared of you? It's lunchtime. I usually drop by for a little snack, but the animals always race off at the sight of me. Mm, wh what a shame, said Blue Cow, who was getting a little nervous. Still, a moustache. I have to get back to my field. My, my, what a marvellous menagerie of exotic animals. You can be an animal too, Milton. Charming though your offer is, I'm afraid that it's time for all animals, uh, I mean story makers, to be hidden away. Look. The dawn is upon us. The morning is nigh. We've made our stories and we bid you goodbye. night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, stories are fabulous. Stories oh, are happy. Bye, story makers. <laughs> See you again soon.